Good morning, guys. Um, I just want to, you know, quickly talk to you guys about um, the paralegal career. Um, paralegals assist lawyers with daily tasks that enables them to focus on their clients in court. Um, they also help with various organizational tasks, composing documents, and conducting legal research to strengthen a lawyer's case. Um, their course will, coursework will include, but not limited to, uh, introduction to law ethics, legal research and writing, civil procedures, employment law, um, contracts, and legal practice tech. There are also tons of other um, courses, but that's just some of them. Um, they usually get their associates in 50, uh, 15 months, and then you get more pay with more degrees. So if you go get your bachelor's, your master's, PhD, things of that nature, you can get uh, more pay. Um, the lowest 10% of paralegals makes $31,400 a year, and the average pay for a paralegal in general is $50,940. Um, the highest pay, the highest 10% makes $82,050, um, and then they're uh, eligible for a bonus job. So, like I said, the more degrees you have, the more opportunities you have to make uh, more money and get a better job being a paralegal. So, that's all I have for being a paralegal. Have a good one, guys. This is Gentry calling from the district attorney's office. Just wondering what your ETA is for court this morning. Gentry McCumber is one of more than 100 paralegals who work at the district attorney's office. She starts her day just before 8 a.m., making sure witnesses arrive on time for trial. So I'm pretty much on my phones a lot, <laughs> texting officers, attorneys, civilian witnesses, um, keeping everyone in the loop. All my witnesses are here that I need for court today. So I'm kind of stress-free right now. By 10 a.m., she walks back to the DA's office across the street from the South Bay Courthouse, where she focuses on preparing other cases for future court hearings and trials. Our main goal as paralegals is witness coordination. Uh, we want to make sure that all of the necessary witnesses are subpoenaed for court and that they get here to testify on the cases. Uh, we also want to make sure that the cases are fully prepared. Do we have the fingerprints? Do we have the DNA report? Do we have the 911 call? Do we have the photos? Do we have the body-worn camera? Um, all of that information and discovery we gather, we turn it over to our DDAs, and they in turn turn it over to defense counsel. Paralegals learn to manage different types of cases, from family protection to gangs to narcotics, and they are an essential part of the prosecution team. The paralegals are the superheroes of the office. They are the ones that put together the cases. They coordinate all the witnesses. They coordinate all of the audiovisual evidence. They are the ones that make sure everybody gets to court on time, gets to where they need to be on time. In other words, without the paralegals, we would not be able to produce a case in court for the jury because they're the ones that made it happen. You know, whether it's a DUI where someone was injured or, you know, if someone was molested, our job is to, you know, put those criminals away so it feels good knowing that we're a part of that and that we get to work closely with those victims and let them know that their role in testifying is an important one because it can potentially put a bad person away.